almost make you want to pop a hernia. Not very heavy, but it's kind of awkward. And it's kind of big. <clears throat> but my side here is not as bad as I feared. But my spot over here, because I had to move this door over, this is kind of what it's going to look like. This is the uh, room that I'll have for that pull-out closet. So we would have to bring a piece of wood out to cover the end of this. And, and kind of finish that off. This door, when it opens, is not going to open all the way like I had hoped. Unless I, uh, unless I work on moving this door back to, to the original location, which means I'd have to figure that out. Yeah. So this is a shower with the seat and this seat can actually go from this end or over to this end either way I'm looking at where I'm gonna have to cut this uh, I was just looking at my tape measure so looking at kind of the bottom edge of that about 40 inches which is where I think the top would be maybe 41 and if we take a look at the bottom of this see if I can get that hooked on there 40 41 is going to be right at that shelf so that may not be so bad. If I cut it at 41, it would cut right through this shelf, which would which would provide some stability, still some, some stability support up here. So if I'm cutting through here, all the way across and cutting through there, then uh, this is the piece that, that gets uh, taken away. <clears throat> And with that in place, this is what the rest of the bathroom will look like. Okay, I'm uh, I'm kind of looking at this. I mean, this is uh, this is every bit of 36, and I really need for this to be at 32, 32 or 33 at the most. So, 32, 33 brings me to here. No interference with the door whatsoever. 32 brings me back to here. Uh, so that would, that would give me room then for, for this door to open up here. 36 is just too, too uh, far into the room. So, let's see what we can find out. Well, it just came out of Home Depot. Uh, the return process for that shower pan was just super easy. They came out, helped me unload it, took it in, scanned a barcode, uh, had me sign a um a return uh thing they give me a receipt and they credited all the money back to my uh, to my account so super easy uh thank you home depot for making it uh very easy to to uh work with you uh did walk around and look for some other shower pans i can find a 32 by 32 
uh, in a 36 by 36. Uh, I'll have to go back and mark that out on the floor and see what see what that's going to look like. But ideally, I'd like to find a 32 by 36, and that would that would uh, do the trick. So the uh, pencil mark on the floor is 32 by 36. That would be ideal if I could find a shower pan that met those measurements. That gives me about the width of the two by four here. Uh, and then uh, 36 brings us this far into the room. Now one other thing that the 36 does for me, these doors are two foot doors. So even though I had to move this door over to the left here, uh, because I'm only, uh, my overall bathroom width is five feet, if I go three feet into here with the shower pan, that leaves me two feet for the door. So even if the door opens up, it would open up into this space here. So I could still have a flat door uh, walking into here. And then this door would open up back this way and would be up against the, uh, the shower. Uh, if I have to come out 36 by 36, that's uh, to this area here, and I may have to work with the door a little bit to allow enough room for the door to, to lay flat up against the shower. After a little online searching, I think I may have a new plan of action. Again, at Home Depot, uh, uh, as you just saw, they have a Dreamline uh, line of products um, called the French Corner. And it may work out pretty well. Uh, it's a 36 by 36 shower pan. But as you saw in the picture, that French Corner design uh, has a framework that fits on a 36-inch uh, base that is inside of the um, of, of the overall 36. So it would basically come up to about here, uh, and I may be able to because this is a an aluminum uh, extruded aluminum framework. I may be able to dismantle the uh, top pieces uh, of the framework, or at the very least, it'll come uh, to about here, would come across, and then uh, at this corner would come this direction. And I may be able to dismantle the one or two squares that are over in this corner. And because this only fits on this outer outer edge here, this outer edge here, then I don't have to worry about over here rounding the corner or anything like that. I will have to tile the back side of this and I will have to put up some uh, <clears throat> cement board and tile up this back side. But man, that, uh, that may do the trick for me. And then look how much space I've got here for a closet or uh, or whatever. I mean, there's all kinds of uh, possibilities uh, for this. And this door will open up and would essentially, let me get something here to kind of represent the door. If you measure two feet from that corner, that ends up being about here. And so this door would basically open up to right at the at the corner of the shower, and the uh, the French corner design actually has two sliding doors that slide back, and so you enter the shower in the corner, and uh, that may that may be uh, 
That may be beautiful. Stay tuned. Let's see what comes up now. You can see today outside temperature is 39 and now inside temperature is 39. So what I have done, I've got my little buddy heater here that I uh, mounted on the wall. And uh, so that's providing heat. Uh, I just turned it on. So uh, it'll take a little while for it to heat up this bus. But it's kind of interesting to see how this would work out as a heat source, at least temporarily. 